Have you ever wondered what is the best lead magnet for your business? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to share with you five of the best lead magnet ideas. Doesn't matter if you're a coach, consultant, or a creative entrepreneur. They work for every type of business. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former teacher turned lifestyle entrepreneur, and I'm a coach, life coach, transformational coach. I just help people and businesses get through their blocks and then scale. Hey, I don't know about you, but when I first started in business, you know, getting people into your system, into your email autoresponder was really a challenge. And I didn't know if I had the right lead magnet. But as I've been in business longer and longer, I want to share with you five of the best lead magnet ideas for your business. The first one, and this really works for coaches and consultants, is a discovery call or a strategy call or some people call it a clarity call. And the best thing is, is if you can find people that will schedule a call with you, that's the best way to build up a no like, and trust. And that's how most coaches and consultants build up their business. They start out on their own finding people to talk to. Then that really comes with referrals and people just finding out that you are a really good coach. So the second one, is webinars. And some people say webinars are dead. Webinars are not the easiest thing to put out, but yet people are always looking for a webinar that will teach them things. So when you do a webinar, you can do them 15 minutes, 45 minutes. Russell Brunson always does a 90 minute one. I prefer a shorter one but I do use Russell Brunson's perfect webinar scripts. And I follow what he has put together to a T. But people want to come in to learn. So the idea of this, the bulk of what you're going to do on a webinar is teach. And then of course you're going to make an offer, whether it's to join a business, buy something, maybe it's even just to get a discovery call. But webinars are outstanding ways to get leads. The third lead me, third lead magnet <laughs> is a cheat sheet, a checklist or a guide, easy to put together, PDF form, easy, easy, and people love them. Again, some of these don't have to be very fancy, but what I do with a lead magnet is I always have what's called a landing page. It's where people have to put their name and email in. And then it goes to a thank you page where I'm either offering a product or usually just trying to get into my group. So the fourth one is hosting a challenge. And I know you've seen these on social media. They're really popular. Uh, you see a lot of five day challenges, seven day challenges, 14 day challenges. Some have even 30 or 31 day challenges. I've done five and I prefer five. To me, if I'm into one a little longer, I tend to lose track of things and I don't always join. But it's a great way to develop leads. And then the fifth one is a quiz, a, a quiz <laughs> or a self-assessment. And they're really popular. You know, some people, that's all they do is put out quizzes. It's usually a personality quiz. Sometimes it's about a business type quiz, um, but they generate a lot of leads. So let's go through them again. There's five of them. The best lead magnet ideas. Discovery call, strategy call, clarity call, a webinar where you're teaching, giving out great value, a cheat sheet, or a checklist, or a guide. The fourth one's hosting a challenge, and the fifth one is a quiz or a self-assessment. Hey, I have a discovery call. Totally free. Totally free. Well, all we do is chat. And I'm going to talk to you about your goals, where you're headed. We're going to see if we can put a strategy to get you going somewhere. 
It's not a sales call. It's a discovery call. It's at marknelsononline.com forward slash call. marknelsononline.com forward slash call. I will have the link in the description. Y'all take care. Bye.